Awesome. It obviously brings back a lot of memories of the teams we had here and the success we had, and uh, just awesome to kind of meet some of the new faces. Uh, haven't you know been back in the last year or so, so all the new guys that have come through, it's great to meet them and uh, just see what the future of UConn baseball holds. What are some of the memories that kind of pop into your mind when you come back here? Uh, I always remember on this field we clinched the regular season Big East Championship. Uh, that was pretty special, and then uh, I guess just especially all the fall practices of uh, you know from freshman year on, just getting better and all the grind days we had all together and. You know, transforming our team to you know being a championship caliber program, which you know starts in the fall like these guys are doing right now and uh, continues through the season. Part of those great teams in 2010 and 2011. What's it like to see your teammates up in the big leagues now, and then a lot of you also uh, scattered throughout the minor leagues? Oh, it's awesome. Uh, especially you know recently, George obviously being the World Series MVP it was I was ecstatic just watching that, and then just to see the unbelievable, unbelievable success he's had is you know it's been tremendous, and uh, everyone knew he always was going to be a great big league player, but. To see him excel, excel at that level has just been uh, tremendous. What was your experience like in the World Baseball Classic? Oh, it was awesome. Uh, you know, uh, a lot of the guys in the team uh, that were in the big league said it was, you know, very similar to the, you know, playoff experience you have with the atmosphere we had in Guadalajara. So, just to have that uh, in my back pocket to know what to expect is going to be big. And uh, to, um, you know, play against guys on like Venezuela and Puerto Rico that, you know, were MLB All Stars and guys that played in the World Series this year, just to know that you know I can compete against them and do well. Uh, it's good, you know, going forward for my career. What advice would you have for these current players during their time here in stores? Uh, first off, enjoy it because it was the best, you know, three seasons I ever had. Uh, you know, going back to the beginning of playing baseball, so much fun. Uh, you know, they have great coaches just to, you know, soak up all the information they can, you know, get while be here, being here, and and uh, it's going to help them if they want to play at the next level and. Uh, uh, just especially this time of the year, just you know, an individual startup. You know, you really don't have full team workouts until January. Just use this time to personally, uh, you know, get better as an individual player because that's going to be whatever role you have in the spring that's going to help this team, you know, go to the next level. Are there any messages that really stand out from Coach Penders as you make your way towards the big leagues? Uh, his, you know, his whole saying, at ace, you know, attitude, concentration, and effort. Uh, you, you, it's kind of, you know, you hear it a lot here. You don't really know, you know, what to expect, especially when you're a freshman, but. As I went through my career here, towards you know the championship teams of 2010, 2011, and then through the, the you know the whole ranks of the minors, you realize those are the three things you can truly can control. And uh, if you concentrate on those and make sure you excel in all of those, then you know good results are always going to you know come forth. You're a busy guy. How often are you able to keep up with the current Huskies? Uh, I always follow them. Uh, I you know check uh, you know at least once a week to see how they did in the weekend series and. Uh, it was a little disappointing how the NCAA handled the uh, you know tournament bid, but I expect us to be back next year. And